Hey guys, back with another um, update video for my jersey collection. So, I haven't posted in like about two months. So, um, I've gotten a lot of jerseys since then. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we start off with this uh, Pumas Unam my mom got me after she went to Mexico. It's a very clean jersey. Um, Nike, see the big uh, Puma in the middle, Banamex. Um, it's funny because like a lot of people use this jersey in their ultimate team. Um, Telcel on the back. Uh, Herbal Life. Yep. Next up is this uh, Cameroon 2002 jersey from the World Cup. Many remember this jersey because it has no sleeves. Uh, the Lion. Puma. Very clean, authentic. It's pretty worn out, but it's still classic jersey. No one on the back. Next up is this uh, Corinthians jersey from, I believe, like 2003. It has a classic um, Pepsi logo in the middle. Uh, Corinthians. It's made by Topper. Um, yeah, check out the back. On the back, we have um, more Pepsi, but number 10, so it's pretty clean and very kind of rare jersey. Next up is this Denmark jersey. It's kind of funny because I got this for very cheap, and it's not fake. I got it at a charity shop, but like it's only like one year old, so I'm pretty lucky to get this. Very clean. As you can see, there's two different shades here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Climb a cool. Um, everything's there. No one on the back. Next up is this um, Sporting Braga jersey from I don't know when. I think it's 2004. Uh, pretty classic jersey. Not really a lot of. Uh, like, not really a lot of uh, things going on here. Um. But here you go, um, the sponsor in the middle gives it a lot of life. Uh, sporting, made by Macron. Yeah. Next up is this uh, Celtic jersey from, um, I believe, 2002. Uh, uh, there you go. Authentic. TL Celtic. It's long sleeve, so I also got this one at a charity shop, and it was really cool because look at the back. It's Pe uh, it's Petrov number nineteen. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, he retired because uh, he got cancer, I believe. Yeah, so pretty cool to get his jersey. Next up. Got this uh, Vancouver Whitecaps jersey from the MLS. Um, since I live in Canada, then I should be uh, representing the provinces. So, Vancouver. Pretty normal jersey. Not a lot going on. I like the logo, but that's pretty much it. Uh, with the other uh, Corinthians jersey, I also copped this one. I think it's a year older, but it's a gold key, goalkeeper shirt. I think ninety eight, ninety nine. So the other one, nah, this one's older than the other one. Okay, but still Pepsi. Um, Corinthians logo is bigger. Uh, made by Topper. Uh, official product on the back. We have number one, Topper, uh, SC Corinthians, Brazil, Pepsi, long sleeve jersey. Yep. Next up is this uh, Galatasaray jersey from, I don't recall, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's all gold and um, the, the badge looks really, really stands out with the black. Um, Official merchandise, Umbro, yep, Aria is the sponsor.
this is another really cool uh, pickup. It's a uh, Fenerbahce jersey, Adidas from 2007, 2000, uh, 2008, sorry. Um, really cool looking shirt. It's a uh, official licensed product. The best thing about this jersey is the back. Check it out, guys. Uh oh. Roberta Carlos. Number three. Yeah, just really cool to have one of his jerseys, the best uh, left back to ever play, in my opinion. Even though the three is a bit worn out, but still a great jersey. Next up is this 2005. No, I'm not sure. 2003, I think. Leeds jersey. Um, pretty overall. Basic with Diadora, uh, White and McKay as a sponsor. Eh, an average jersey. I like this one more. It's another Leeds jersey, but made by Nike. It's more of a classic look. Um, with the collar and everything, Strongbow being the sponsor. Uh, just a classic old Nike jersey. Going on the back. Next up, I actually got this one this week. It's a uh, 2006 uh, um, Germany jersey from the World Cup, from their World Cup actually. The thing about this, it's a replica. It's not a real jersey, as you can see. The badge is not really that well made, but it's still a great. Like this is my one of my favorite overall jerseys ever. It looks really cool, so I had to have it. And Michael Ballack on the back. <laughs> yep, looks really cool. Next up, with the other Sporting Braga jersey, I also copped this one. This one I have no idea like what year it's from, but I found it pretty cool. And it was only like a dollar, so I copped it. It has a lot of sponsors. There you go. There, here, uh, Superliga, Sporting, yeah. Next up is this Scotland jersey from 2007, I think. Um, the Diadora jersey. Oh, so like the other Leeds jersey is also made by Diadora. Probably the same year because it has the same features, the dots and everything. So that one's probably from 2007 also. Um, Scotland. Yep. Yeah. Pretty clean jersey. I like it. Number eight. Long sleeve. I like the back more. It stands out a bit more. Hartley, number eight. As you can see here, yeah, looks really cool. And if you can see the badge there, looks really cool. Um, yep. Next up is this uh, Portugal jersey from the Euro 2012. Pretty, like, classic jerseys. Not really a lot going on, but it's really clean, so... Had to get it. Um, look at this. The thing I like is the sleeves here with the cross going. I like that. And it's just a really overall great look jersey. Yep. Last pickup. I actually got this yesterday from a charity shop. Um, Liverpool jersey. From I believe last season, I'm not sure. The thing about this is that I got it really cheap because of the the name on the back. You'll see in a second. Um, Warrior Tech, Warrior official merchandise. It's all there. Like the patches are here and everything. It's a really well made jersey. 
just look at the look at the back guys. Number seven Gulati. So somebody just wrote their name well like plastered their name on this jersey, which uh I'm gonna have to take care of that. But still, like still a great jersey and I got it for really cheap, so I'm not complaining. Uh ninety six and uh official numbering. So yeah, guys, also, I really want you to, uh, I made a website, so if you guys want, can't check it out, that'd be really cool. It's called uh, backheelculture.com. I'm going to post a link in the description. I hope you guys can uh, check it out and check out my collection and uh, some of the jerseys I'm trying to sell. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and try to check out the website. I'll be posting um, pretty soon. Thanks.